Welcome back everybody, this is Liz Marina 300 speaking, I hope all y'all enjoyed this previous video, I know I enjoyed making it for you, also sorry for not uploading for two days. I couldn't stream because I was preparing for an event and was at an event at one time at a time. So, uh, will be my day of coming back, the time scheduling will stay the same, I will still be ending on the 30th for this month. That's for the people that are watching this on YouTube. The ones that are watching this on streaming probably will end at the 29th. Mm -hmm. Damn, shaving incorrectly really helps. Quite an effort. Mm -hmm. About to greet the chat. Hold up, everyone. Hello, and. Um, Welcome. Make sure to read. Make sure to read and follow all the rules. There we are. Did I miss Dragon Right? No. Not completely. But I think I missed the main events and stuff. Because... Oh no. Yeah. Skyward! Scatter! Damn, the special event. What's that for again? The dragon right itself is over. Damn, wait, no, it isn't. Wait, where are the lanterns then? Oh no, the lantern right. Um. Yes, we have five of them. Damn it. Well, uh, we got our day cut out for us. Um, like, I don't see the lanterns. Nighttime or something? Oh well. I missed something very good. That's it, I did. Nah. Lanterns are all still here. You first. And I think the max is out. Yeah, 6k. And I'm playing. Well, you know, there we are. Hmm. Anyone here I know? Nope. Yep. Yeah, right. Says, yeah, hello. I see your message. Don't worry. I'll just respond delay because of uh, the missions or stuff. Damn, you serious? Bro, I am bloody losing. Oh. 
I'm not sorry. I got the least amount. Yay! Times not, times not back. Makes sense. One thousand one hundred and fifty. There's no such thing well, as pure freedom um, in this world. Even the wind can. I think this one's my best one. I swear, I got that one. What? Inconsequential. And then I can straight walk through their stuff. You see me collecting them, right? It's not me collecting. Isn't that straight and line? Very annoying. Seriously? It was right at the end. Okay, that is actually really annoying how far my lag is. Yeah. 
know how far I lag is compared to everyone. Perhaps we could stop a while at once. It's okay. Another girl. By the way, O, I can see your name. Yeah, how did I do that? Pretty good. Incredible lag. Yay. Oh, I have 12. That is good. Yeah. Skyward. Scatter. Look, this everything is back to where it normally is. I'm checking. Uh, what? I'm a check in just doesn't oh, okay. um, I can't talk to the character. That is I don't like that. Um What's going on? The secrets ah. of the mechanical arts are too profound to convey in a few simple words. Oh, but why must the listener grow weary Damn. whenever I begin to divulge them? Damn, me dumb. I thought it was something to do with something else. Let's go! So others can push the cards. One, two, three, four, five. Things just feel very laggy. to compute everything.
How many opposites can push? Ah, never mind. I figured it out. Yep. I did it. Yay. That one, which is quite obvious. Go ahead.
Wait, did this little bunny always have six moves? Oh well. Probably would have gotten an achievement saying if I didn't do any of that. That's okay. I'm so glad that the Genshin, uh, the, um, the lan Lantern Rites is not like, end. But I thought it did, I, I thought it did. There's so many notifications on screen, I don't like it. Perhaps we could stop a while at once. This one real quick. That's so good. <laughs> Okay, now that I can do the new quest. Am I not about to go home? Thank you for completing. No, I can't think of all the commissions, but. Add Astra Abyssosk. Go back to this. Yes. And this is all going to be our, all, all this entire video is probably just going to be about the Lantern Lightning missions. I wish I hope so, to be honest. Yeah, we 
try the challenge. I can do it better in pasta. Still got the gold star, but still in one. Um, you're getting a call up. Yeah, what's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I'm back everyone. Get yeah, back chat. Yeah, we'll get To the challenges I'll have. Oh, uh, what? What? Did not sign up for this for whatever this mission. Okay, 
Did I get it? Yes. Very good. Completed this quest here. I can navigate. Oh, oh I just went around. Oh, okay. No, I did not. There was that over there. There's this. Oh, I travel a mass distance, right? Okay. All right. I need to wait two days. Yeah. What's that mission? There's another mission here? So dead. Is it a final mission or something? The path is still off, breaking the search of fairy journeys in this room. No, it's that. Skyward! Scatter! Uh, did I just stand on an upside down on the boat? I did too. Like that, it makes it sound like I'm always the one losing. Ah, perfect, you're all here. Uh, there's an important commission I need your help with. Okay. All right, I've got the time. Where are the goods? Well, it's not just goods this time. I need you to escort a tea merchant and their wares from Chaoying Village to Liyue Harbor. It's a very be his important family. client has requested to meet with him. Sure. Uh, what's this merchant's address? Here. It's his parents. Uh, uh, it's his parents, isn't it? If the client's that important, then this must be a very crucial, very pressing commission, right? Um, of course, the sooner you complete it, the better. I would advise you to depart as soon as possible. <laughs> All right, um, don't work too hard now, Long Joe. We'll set off then. Mm -hmm. It's his parents. It must be. So an escort mission. Never done that before. Well, not a real escort mission to people. You're a bit quiet today, Gaming. Oh, do you want Paimon to tell a story? Uh, we're almost there. I'll take a rain check on that. Tea merchant heading to Liyue Harbor. We're here to escort you. <sighs> Dad? <sighs> oh, so you're Gaming's father. It's nice to meet you. Just leave this delivery to him. Trust Paimon, he's got this in the bag. Gaming is super good at what he does. Everyone at the Secure Transport Agency says as much. Even the Ministry of Civil Affairs has nothing but good things to say about him. Seems like you've made some sort of name for yourself, at least. <sighs> the... the goods are all in order? Yes, they're all here. Then let's get going. <clears throat> uh, a very important client has asked for you by name! You kind of have to come with us. Paimon doesn't know how we would explain ourselves if you just didn't show up. 
Plus, you'd be missing out on a huge money-making opportunity. I see. I suppose I will have to trouble you all to escort me, then. See someone? <laughs> Ah, there we go. I need to see this. Ah, my teeth were just this from Oh, what the? No, 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 no! Serious? Oh no! Peace prevails throughout the land, and all things are made new, as buds in the spring. This place looks nice and open. Why don't you all rest here for a second? Huh? What about you? You're not going to join us? Did you see that? The Adeptus I'm was in the back. Tired. I'll keep watch. Oh, but... Just let him go. What's the Adeptus going? Okay, we'll just share amongst ourselves then. Did you know, Uncle Ip, that the flavor of these cakes changes depending on... Halt! Who goes there? It appears that one's movements were overly conspicuous. Enough of your musings. Focus. Focus on the matter at hand. Uh... Present your exquisite ornaments at once. Indeed. Bring them forth readily and without protest. Ah! What do we do? It seems as if these two are acting alone. It won't be difficult to subdue them, but they might have something else waiting in store for Dad. The best way to keep him safe is... Leave this to me. I'll handle them. Traveler, Paimon, take my dad and the goods away from here. No, Kaming. It's too dangerous. This is what I do. Whoa. I don't know Authority how it's actually foe, going. Indeed. Let us depart. And seek a target softer in blows and disposition. Oh, wait. Okay. Uh uh. Don't think I'm gonna let you off so easily. Away. Let us away. What? Coming! Where's the Adeptus going? Don't worry, he's a great fighter. Paimon's even seen him take down a dozen or so treasure hoarders all by himself. But coming, I. If he had just stayed by my side and learned a family trade, he wouldn't have to put himself in such dangerous situations. We just have to trust him. Let's go on ahead. We'd best get away from here, in case there are other bandits in the area waiting in ambush. Okay. Now I told you, the Adeptus was in All the back the entire time. Should have split. We should be good to stop here. Young Lee? Oh no, what is he doing here? Good sir, please listen to me. Reel in your line and leave this place as quickly as you can. There are bandits in the area. Ah. Uh. Bandits? Acting in broad daylight? <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah, I see. It appears many people are catching a chill as of late. Yeah. If your throat is bothering you, Paimon, perhaps some tea and rest are in order. Uh, nope, no need, no need. Paimon's fine. She just uh, had some cake stuck in her throat. 
If there are indeed bandits in the area, then we should inform the Millilith at once. Oh? Well, if that's the case, such matters are best left to those with the necessary expertise, wouldn't you agree? <sighs> I suppose you're right. If ordinary people like us got involved, we would only cause more trouble. Since we find ourselves otherwise unoccupied in this beautiful area, why don't we find a quiet place to relax while we wait for good news? Hmm. That would be lovely. Where's the Adeptus? Where's the Adeptus at? Skyward! Scatter! <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Uncle Ip does have a reason to be worried. <laughs> After all, Gaming, the guard we mentioned, is his son. Gaming. The name sounds somewhat familiar. Ah, yes. That is the name of the Usho dancer who has been performing around Liyua Harbor recently, is it not? Oh, have you seen him perform? Indeed. I cannot help but admire his skill. Okay, yes, he it's truly cool. encapsulates the spirit of the Suani. Usho dancing has become more well known in Liyua Harbor recently. However, although performers are seeing budding success, they have no doubt had to face many hurdles along the way. One's not so easily understood by spectators such as ourselves. If you ask me, what truly deserves admiration is perseverance in the face of adversity. That is a rare attribute indeed. I have heard many of my acquaintances praise Gumming for his kind, selfless, and courageous disposition. Why does his face is so... To have a child so accomplished and upright. You must be a very proud parent indeed, Uncle Lip. Why does his face look soft now? Okay. Never mind. Don't mind me. Seems like Sean Lee has decided to <laughs> skip the formalities. But the uh, house is just well, like, oh. he, He's a hard worker. Yes. You should be sure to tell him you think that when he gets back. I... <laughs> Your son is young yet. It's normal for someone his age to be a bit... hot-headed. It's understandable to find talking about such things in person difficult. If there's a particular sentiment you wish to convey, perhaps we could pass it along for you. No, no. It wouldn't be right to ask that of you. <sighs> this thing between us has festered for many years now. In truth, there are some things that simply aren't easy for us to talk through. I've been in the tea business for most of my life, and I always hoped my child would do the same. Otherwise, how would he support himself? Over the past few years, I heard how well he was doing for himself as a guard. How his work was taking him to farther and farther off places. I also heard that he never gave up on wushou dancing made me happy but I was also worried when you're young you can handle all that physically taxing work and manual labor what young person isn't capable of making a living that way my concern is what happens when you get old every time I get to thinking like that I cannot help but be reinforced in the belief that I was right I often regret introducing him to wushou dancing as a kid. If I had known how things would turn out, I would have never taken him to see those performances in the first place. It is only natural for a parent to strive to send their child down the right path. No one would begrudge you that mm. sentiment, Uncle Ip. You need not worry. You seem quite young, Mr. Zhang Li. Yet you speak with such wisdom. Perhaps I have misjudged your age. By a couple thousand years. <laughs> your words are too kind. Truth be told, one of my old friends has several grown daughters. Rather than fretting about their future, however, she prefers to let them find their own way. Then she is more easygoing than I could ever be. I fear I lack such an open mind. 
Uh, oh, I meant to say earlier, there is no need to be so polite. Uh, feel free to call me by my name, Ipdak. Sure. The shock face, like why? So, do you also think I fret too much, Mr. Zhongli? <sighs> That's not exactly what I was hoping to convey. Only a fool would ask a parent not to worry about their child. But think of it this way. Raising a child is not unlike flying a kite. Hold the string too tight, and it can no longer soar. As my friend once said, if your children are aiming for the stars, Clipping their wings will only cause them to come crashing down. You need to let out the line for a kite to soar. <sighs> it seems I was too stuck in my ways. You need not reproach your heart for caring. You simply need to loosen your hold a little. Indeed, with such a big heart, why not allocate the time you usually spend worrying about Gaming to the pursuit of other things? Like going for a stroll, drinking tea, or taking in the scenery. You never know what surprises could be in store. Things can change in the blink of an eye. The Adeptus, <laughs> I just noticed. The blink of an eye, you say. Do things change so quickly? Children grow up in quite the same way, do they not? Hmm. Day after day, year after year, sometimes in the blink of an eye, but always when you least expect it. As a father, I'm sure you know that best. <laughs> yes, you can say that again. One second, Gaming was a kid. The next thing I knew, he was ready to fly the nest. Xiang Li certainly has a way with words. Definitely. He's a businessman. Gaming, there you are. Oh, Gaming is back! Dad, Traveler, Paimon. Good, you're all here. Oh, and Mr. Zhongli from the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? You're here too? <laughs> A fated meeting indeed. We were just enjoying some pleasant conversation. Uh, is everything resolved? Well, you could say that. What does that mean? Traveler, Paimon, come with me. I need to talk to you. Hmm. Uh huh? Oh, okay. I'll come right out and say it. Those two bandits, you sent them, didn't you? Uh, <laughs> uh, so that's how we're starting off? Can't look me in the eye, huh? I guess I'm right then. Okay, but how did you know? At first, their mannerisms seemed a bit stilted. But once I got close, it was obvious that they possessed great skills. I was right on their tail, and it should have taken only a few steps to catch up to them, yet somehow, I was never able to close that distance. People with that level of skill would have gone about things differently from the start, like sneaking up on us while we were distracted. Unless, of course, their real motive was to lure me away from the group all along. Wow, you're pretty quick on the uptake. I just have a lot of experience. I've dealt with many a ruthless bandit in my time, but... I've never seen ones like them. In the end, I told them they would make good guards if they ever wanted to get back on the straight and narrow, and that they could hang out with me and Lee Yua Harbor anytime. Uh, you ever consider you might be a little too good at making friends? <laughs> I'm guessing you guys were trying to help resolve things between my dad and me? Yep. Yeah. <sighs> I appreciate it, I, I really do. But this conflict between us has been going on for a long time. Even if those two were real bandits and... I was able to subdue them and show them what I was capable of. It, it wouldn't change anything. You've seen the way he talks to me. It's not like that at all! Your dad really cares about you. You should see the way he talks about you when you're not around. Zhang Li was talking things through with him and he nearly agreed to let it go. <sighs> you don't believe us? He won't let it go. He can say as much as he wants to other people, but he won't talk to me. <sighs> Prove yourself to your dad. Why don't you tell him about all the hard work you've done these past few years? Will that even do anything? I'm not sure talking is enough. You won't know unless you try. Just like how you won't know if something is delicious unless you taste it. Listen to us. 
It's time to put these people skills to good use. You can make friends with anyone, so why not your dad? <laughs> I'll do my best. <laughs> you are very knowledgeable, Mr. Zhongli. I'm impressed. Despite my being in the tea industry for several decades, it seems, I still have much to learn about the art of tea tasting. You flatter me. It was nothing but a few humble musings. How much tea have you drank since we've been gone? It's not like it was alcohol. <laughs> Ip Duck and I have found many a common interest. Our friendship, much like a cup of tea, seems to grow stronger the longer it has to steep. Uh, well said, Mr. Zhongli. Gaming, Mr. Zhongli is very knowledgeable. You should take the opportunity to learn from people like him when you're in the city. Huh? Oh, uh, of course. Ahem. <clears throat> Zhongli? I have very much enjoyed our conversation, Ipdok, but I, unfortunately, have some unfinished funeral parlor business to attend to. Oh, I, I hope I didn't keep you. My apologies for taking up so much of your time, Mr. Zhongli. No need to stay on my account. When you're less busy, let's find a time to meet. I'll treat you to dim sum. It would be Whoa. an honor. Did I break my chin? Thank goodness I didn't. We'll see you off, Zhongli. You two have a nice chat, all right? No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, skyward, scatter. Yeah. Thanks for helping us talk things through with Uncle Ip. Good thing you were able to pick up on what we were putting down. I have been around the both of you for some time now. You could say I have a certain level of expertise in that regard. <laughs> As for my role in the conversation, think nothing of it. I hardly did anything noteworthy. <laughs> you never change, do you? Uh, why did you have us walk all this way? Paimon thought we just had to go far enough to be out of earshot. A friend approaches. Hello. Mm -hmm. Boy, wait, 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 let me clip it, let me clip it, let me clip it, just a moment. Hold up. And that should be, done with the clip, publish the clip, please add the title. A friend materializes behind you. Mm -hmm. There we are. Now we shall continue. Wait, let me turn it back on. I've been here the whole time. A ghostly kite. Could that elusive director who be coming to Wangshu Inn once again? What is she doing here? Uh, I suppose it matters not. Given her relationship with Rex, well, Zhang Li, I might as well go pay my respects. Damn. It's you. I thought you were Director Who. <laughs> ah, your arrival is most fortuitous. Do you want to try out this new gadget? The addition of the power source makes the takeoff more stable. It's just that... He seems quite immersed in the study of this device. I fear it's almost too stable. It completely negates the pleasure of seeing one's kite sway with the wind. 
It's a bit of a shame. In truth, I'm here because Director Hu dispatched me to purchase some items in preparation for Lantern Rite. I see. Much like she does every year. Much like she'll do next year, I would imagine. Hmm. Ugh. Am I wrong? Or has she once again sent you out to buy... What is it? Sesame oil or something? <laughs> While we're on the subject, I do wonder why she is so obsessed with using sesame oil in the preparation of mixed vegetable dishes for Lantern Rite. A recommendation from Shang Ling, perhaps. What do you think, Xiao? I've only met Director Hu a few times. I'm hardly the best person to ask. Ah, His hair! Is that not a sign that you should visit Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor more it's often? Real. It wouldn't hurt to grace the parlor with your presence now and again, when you are otherwise unoccupied. This one here is a traditional kite, one without any equipped mechanical device. Director Hu tasked me with studying the differences between the two to determine which one is of greater merit. Many hands make light work. Perhaps you could test out the other kite for me? All right. I have made my comparisons. If speed is what you're after, the mechanical kite is the better choice. Wonderful. I shall pass that information along to Director Hu. I'll leave these two kites with you. Perhaps you can find a few friends with which to partake in the activity. You might find it to be an enjoyable use of your time. Oh, uh, wait. Who enjoys kite flying? Well, I would imagine someone of your talent and wisdom is more than capable of finding out. <laughs> so, you were testing out the kites for Hu Tao and even roped Xiao into doing it for you? Paimon didn't ask earlier because the situation was uh, awkward. I would hardly say I roped Xiao into anything. I simply sought the help of a friend. Besides, we did the testing together. Like our pool of competitors is growing. Oh no, I need the competitors. Not the important thing right now. It doesn't matter. We're going to another way. Do you like kite flying, Xiao? I suppose I neither like nor dislike it. Although watching a kite gradually ascend into the sky does bring me a certain peace of mind. Perhaps they're a bit like shell lanterns in that way. Hmm. Kite flying is also a pleasant form of relaxation. Have you ever thought about making a kite, Xiao? Oh, no. Cloud Retainer taught us how. We can teach you if you want. There's no need. Minogius was the only Yaksha among us who had an interest in matters of ornamentation and design. When Lantern Rite is over, come find me near Pervasi's temple if you have the time. Hmm. It's getting late. I should go inform Director Hu of our findings. How's she been, by the way? Be sure to say hi to her for us. The last time I spoke to her, she mentioned that she would be visiting Chaoying Village in a few days. Ooh. If you have the time, perhaps you could also make the trip. If you happen to run into her, you can pass along your regards in person. I'll keep that in mind. Take care, Xiao Li. See you later. See you next time. Mm -hmm. uh, they haven't uh, talked yet. God, uh, 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 you can go first. I don't have anything to say. Then I'll go. I still don't want to leave Liyue Harbor. Oh. I can't say I support that decision, but... <sighs> hey, let me finish before you get all worked up. <sighs> sit, Shinha, sit. You must be tired from your journey. Shall I pour you a cup of tea, or would you prefer something else to drink? Uh, no need, I'm not tired. And I think they're ever tired. They're gone, Master. 
Perfect. The time is nigh for us to make an appearance. Ooh. Do you remember the plan one recounted to you? Yes, Master. We aim to give them a demonstration of familial love. Okay. So I'll have Whoa. whatever you are having. All right. What are Auntie Shen Yun and Shen He doing here? Just how many people are involved in this scheme? I suppose all I can do is just take a seat and see what happens. Perfect. I just so happened to have bought some Sunglow tea recently. It's quite the delectable variety. Or it would be if one has not been forced to drink it every day in the hopes of whittling <laughs> down one's considerable stash. One has more than had one's fill already. Oh, forget it. Such thoughts detract from the present need to keep up the conversation. Right. Has work been busy during the holiday season? Do you need my help with anything? Uh, drunk guests can sometimes cause trouble. But I deal with them as you taught me. By pinning their heads against the table. Okay, 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 okay. Whoa, 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 That is not what your role is supposed to be, I believe. Um. Uh, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Uh. Are Auntie Xian Yun and Shen He serious right now? <laughs> While one was busy orchestrating this act, one seems to have forgotten about Shunha's various eccentricities. Yes. <clears throat> what, what, uh, what I meant to ask was, have you made any new friends? We live so far from each other, it would be a great comfort to me to know you were surrounded by good companions. <sighs> you already know of my past circumstances. Wow. Recently, I've been conversing with Guoba in the kitchen at night. Guoba can't talk, but his companionship is a comfort. <sighs> the poor child. Her one friend can't even talk. It's a doll, I think. Ah. Uh, Gaming is not doing so bad after well. all. Perhaps I've been too hard on him. <clears throat> Let's move on, shall we? Do you have any plans for today, Shen He? How about we do something fun? That sounds about right. Take her to do something fun, and perhaps she'll loosen up a bit. Like we used to do when we would carry stones up and down the mountain from dawn until dusk, picking herbs to eat for uh, dinner along the way? If that is what you ask of me, <laughs> then that is what I shall do. <laughs> Oh my god! Dad, uh, here, have some tea. Or, or no, wait, let's not have any just yet. What in the heck? <coughs> yeah. Oh, I simply can't listen to that any longer. Coming. I'd like to finish what I was trying to say before. I don't support your decision to stay in Liyue Harbor, because living there is too hard on you. If you come home, there will be people to help you. I'm not saying we have to live under the same roof. I know our personalities are too similar to avoid butting heads. But you'll have your entire family around you. Your aunts, uncles, they'll all do whatever they can to help. You could get a less taxing job, and we could... We could grab dim sum together from time to time. Huh. I didn't know dim sum was such an important affair, Master. Shh. Just think about it, okay? You don't have to decide now. Dad really has changed a lot. He would never have said these things to me before. But I... Thank you, Dad. So, side to you. Now that's gone. It's been long enough, don't you think? Like oh, I'm unsure hopes they've made like up by it. now. Oh, they're drinking tea in silence. That's not a good sign. Did Xianyan's plan not work after all? Uh, hey, 
you two. Paimon's sorry we were gone for so long. We got to chatting with some friends and didn't realize how much time had passed. Perfect timing, actually. We seem to be just about done here. Yep, uh, let's go. I'll get the Vax. <sighs> Gaming has grown a lot taller, hasn't he? <laughs> Damn, towering of rock art, though. Wait a second. Um. Master, did I say something wrong earlier? I tried to go along with your questions, but when I saw how you and that man reacted, I started to wonder. <sighs> Not at all. Certain unforeseen variables may have presented themselves along the way, but the outcome proved favorable. The plan was a success. Then I helped? Naturally. Your purity of spirit is one of your greatest strengths, Shenhe. You need not change who you are. Okay. You must be Mr. Ip! Thank you for coming all this way. My name is Charlotte, and I'm a reporter from Fontaine. You can find me writing for the Steambird. I invited you here not just to purchase your fine tea, but also with the hope that you might be willing to sit down for a short interview. What do you say? An interview? To advertise my teas? I suppose you could think of it that way. We Fontanians are big tea drinkers, too. The Fontaine Market. Then, I'll need some time to adequately prepare. Perhaps we could sit down and discuss the questions you intend to ask in advance. Of course, of course! Please follow me! Is this person also involved in your plan? And here, I thought I had lots of connections. I suppose I've been humbled. You sure know all kinds of cool and important people. Over uh, here! No. Yoo-hoo! Over here! Uh-huh. But Auntie Shenyun? She probably wants to talk about the next phase of the plan. Let's go while your dad is still distracted. Uh, yeah, I'm coming over to you. Yeah! Although adeptus. I take it that all is going well? Don't worry, Shenyun. Everything is going according to plan. I think. I knew it. I knew that was all an act earlier. Auntie Shenyun is really something. She was so determined to help me, she didn't even care about making herself and Shanka appear foolish in front of my family. She truly knows how to look out for others. I still have a lot to learn. As yes, for the next do. step... Oh no! What's wrong, Gamin? Don't tell me you're the ones footing the bill for all that tea. I can't let you do that. Fret not. Reimbursements will be made. Exactly! Think of it more as an investment, as Ningguang would say. Yeah, we yeah. pulled together the Mora so that Charlotte could place the order. 
She's gonna bring it back to the Steambird as a gift, as well as a sample of the regional specialty. Okay, that's pretty Fontanians cool. Fontanians will probably fall in love with your dad's tea as soon as they lay their eyes on Charlotte's article. And once all the money from the new orders begin to roll in, getting our Mora back will be a piece of cake. Oh, wow. okay. Business-related matters always seem to go over my head, but I refuse to let you all lose Mora on my behalf. I'll pay you back right now. Well, we can talk about such matters at a later date. There are more important matters for you to consider at the moment. Are there not? Yes. I've been thinking about it the whole way here. Nice to flex. I have an idea. But I'd hate to cause even more trouble for all of you. Hmm. That is for us to decide. Yeah! We're all friends here! Plus, we wouldn't be here if we didn't want to help, right? Just tell us about this idea of yours. Okay. Whew. So, it's like this. And in black screen? Got it! Just leave it to us! And I Let's never get to know what the plan is. We need to do those things we talked about, but we also still have the kite flying competition. Since Xiao already tested out those kites for us, why don't we also go buy one of those mechanical thingamabobs or whatever they're called? We can attach it to our kite! Oh, I wanna do that. That's a bit buggy. Hello again! Welcome back! I see you returned from your trip. I really do have to thank you for all your help from before. Thanks to you, my daughter was able to build a kite with her grandmother that very same day. She even wrote a long letter telling me how much she loved it. Oh, really you good. should really be thanking Gami, not us! Oh, I'll be sure to. And. Are you here to buy a kite? Please, yes. take your pick. Oh, we already have a kite. We wanted to buy one of those, um, device thingies from Fontaine. Do you sell them separately? Ah, uh, yes. Here you go. Please, take it. Oh, you've Free got to be charge. kidding me. The directions are in the box. It's not hard to install at all. Um, it doesn't feel right for us to just take it. Well, nor would it feel right for me to take your Mora. <laughs> Good luck in the kite flying competition. I'll be rooting for you. Yeah. All right, then. Thank you. Why does she look so traumatized? <sighs> it's done. Let's get down to business. You shall. <laughs> That went right on beat. Let's find a good place and put this thing in. <laughs> Gee, Gee, we're almost there. <laughs> okay. Yup. Yeah, yeah, that was a no brainer. No. <laughs> Come here, allow me. Uh. <laughs> the land you right is as festive as ever. Whoa. Huh? Oh, what's going on? Whoa, what's happening? What should we do? Oh, should we get the mill with? What's happening? Oh, yes. Oh, 
Schwurze. Any pictures already? Uh, I need to load more film. <sighs> and do it quickly. Do it quickly. <laughs> oh, that was so good. <laughs> no. So many possibilities. <sighs> Massive smiling picture. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is so good. That is just amazing. I don't know which one of the screenshots to choose. They're all so good. Cool. I almost wanted to join in. You saw that, right, Traveler? Heck Let's yes. Find him. Oh, oh. He's... I think I'll head off now, if that's okay. Thank you, little girl. Do you want us to walk you back? No need, no need. Master is waiting for me right okay. over there. Haha, <laughs> again. <laughs> I suppose I'll go first this time. Okay. Your performance. I've seen many wushou dances in my time, but I've got to admit, what you pulled off there was breathtaking. He was walking on water. Wow. He became Jesus. I. I never thought I'd live to hear you say that. You're serious about doing this professionally? A absolutely. I, I know it'll be difficult, but... Then it doesn't matter. What I mean to say is, of course it'll be difficult. But if that's your decision, if that's your dream, then it doesn't matter how difficult it is. As long as you put in the work, then any obstacle can be overcome in Even time. Even gravity and physics. Really, <laughs> when I was young, I also... <laughs> Actually, how about we save that story of my past for another time? Oh, come on! All I really want to say is, I've changed my mind. And much like this kite, you also deserve to soar to new heights. Dad. Son. Son? <laughs> Haven't heard that in a while. 
I bet you're wondering what's gotten into me saying all this. You became God. Well, well Jesus, sorry. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Anyway, I know I've never found the chance to say this before, but... No instructions, no instructions. To me, Gaming, you've always been a great kid. <laughs> All right, that's everything I've got. Did you have something you wanted to say, or...? Give him a hug. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Just yes. Seeing the two of them talk things through like this really gives Paimon a sense of accomplishment. It sh definitely should. Hmm. <laughs> now go. Over there, your friends are still waiting for you. Huh? But... You came all this way. I'll be staying in Liyue Harbor for a bit longer. When you have time, we can grab dim sum together. Your treat, right? Dad, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Go. It sounds okay. like a voice I've heard off. before. See you soon. Oh, with tea. So good. With tea, you don't want to drink it all, you just want to savor it. Mmm. <laughs> that is so, so good. That's quite the smile you've got there, Gaming! <laughs> <laughs> uh, really? It's nothing to be embarrassed about. Um. Is there anything else that might hmm. I'd like to find and thank Auntie Shenyun, as well as everyone else who's helped me out. If everyone has time, maybe we could all get together and go fly a kite. Oh yes. Is how does that work? What is the word for it? Um, please <clears throat> rewrite the bank. <laughs> Where is it? No. Where is it? The secrets of the mechanical are I don't care what's recommended. You recommend me to do one of these. I don't care, I'm doing this. Found to convey in two a days few later, simple. twelve. Um, one, two, I believe that's it.
Well, that's what we shall do. This was my good one, too. <clears throat> you and Paimon make your way up the mountain in search of the source of the shouting. As far as you can make out, it's almonds, this, and cocoa paste. That sounds delicious, that's for sure. The lovely voice in, in Vagarate? In I don't know how to say that word. Your steps. And you ascend the mountain in no Let's see who it is. I thought so. I don't even know who Clorand is. Well, if it isn't my dear partners. I mean, Navia. See, I told you that something good was going to happen during our travels today. I have to say, sometimes the Steambird's astrology column is spot on. Navi, yeah, the first time we met her, technically. A beautiful young woman with a head of dazzling golden pearls and fashionably elegant dress. At first glance, she might be mistaken for just another old fashioned Alcrestian, Fontaine Lady. But in reality, she is the current president, leader, commander in chief, executive director, and boss of the famous Spy the Res. I don't know how to say it, I'm sorry. But never mind these titles. This optimistic girl who never sweets. Who never sweets the details and loves to help others solve their problems. Their problems time and time again. Prefer prefers to be known simply as Navia, an enthusiastic, civil minded citizen. It's just your lucky day. Are you guys also here to catch the festivities? I have oh, a and that reminds yet. me. Happy Lantern Right. Happy Lantern Right. Happy Lantern Right. And that voice we heard, that was you, right, Navia? I guessed. Oh, impressive. You could tell it was me from that far away. You've got well, good you ears. Shouting. You were shouting. That or your voice is just really loud. <laughs> okay. Well, of course it is. After all, Damn. I'm a boss. I just for a character. Indeed. <laughs> I suppose it's an asset. Well. Sure is. Having loud voice is a handy tool when it comes to communication. That is true. Wait, wait, wait. That wasn't even Paimon's point. Paimon just wants to know why you two were shouting from the top of this deserted mountain. There was something about almonds, maybe? And buell fruit? Ooh, is it some sort of secret code? No, it's not a code. The words are meaningless. Perhaps. But the act of shouting was very meaningful indeed. That's just what mountain climbers do, right? After all the hard work it takes to make it to the top, as you stand on the summit looking out at the vast scenery, it's not easy to resist the urge to release those emotions. <laughs> exactly. You get me, partner. Well, I was anyway. afraid that it would cause a disturbance, so I asked the locals around here and they said it was fine. Apparently, most hikers like to shout when they get to the top. 
so the locals are used to it by now. Oh, so, you see, nice. it's not just me. I guess everyone shouts from the top of a mountain at some point in their life. Yeah, uh, speak for yourself. When you're stressed, yeah, don't you ever just get the urge to do something for no reason? <sighs> not really. If I ever get stressed, I just go hunting. Well, that's oh, that's a pretty good way to relieve stress. Yeah, you want your food. That's what you want. Mm. What I choose to hunt depends on my mood. Huh? Okay. Let's hear this <laughs> analogy. <laughs> anyway, why don't you two give it a try? Shout anything you want. It's a real stress reliever. Hmm. As long as Paimon has clothes on her back and food in her belly, Paimon doesn't think there's any stress that needs relieving. That is her keeping things quite a lot. That is very... Very, very true. I can tell you that's for sure. Oh, I bet you guys are just too embarrassed to let loose. No, no need to be no, shy. Don't. Even Farina was shouting from the top of this mountain earlier. Hmm? Huh? Did Paimon hear that right? Farina's also here? In Chaoying Village? Okay, Believe in your is ears. Quite cool. It is indeed as you heard. <laughs> Okay. Actually, the reason we climbed this mountain in the first place was also because we heard the sound of shouting. Okay. Yes, oh. we could just about make out someone yelling things like, Help me! And what should I do? So we hurried up here to check it out. Okay. And what do you Seriously? know? Miss Farina was standing right there, all red in the face. She practically sprinted back down the mountain the minute she saw us. Okay. Uh, that oh. reminds me. I believe what she actually said was, so help me, I will figure out what I should do about this script. Okay, that so sounds more accurate. you could actually hear what she was saying? Why didn't you say so earlier? I thought someone was really in trouble. Oh, well. I figured we would come check out the situation either way. Why not let her keep some privacy? Oh, seems like you caught Farina in the middle of some stress relief as well. <laughs> she probably would have never thought. No, she definitely would have never thought she would run into anyone she knew all the way out here. Come on. My money just turned off. Oh, uh, that's not cool. It's working. Okay. I think so. Uh, we ran into Nervalet on the way here as well, but he was already on his way back, so they probably weren't together. Nervalet? Nice. What? Nervalet was here too? So many people from What was he doing here? It couldn't have been for vacation. I think it just might have been, actually. But apparently he only stayed for half a day before heading back. He's a very busy man. Hmm. Nevillette is not the type to take much time off. Taking even a half day for himself is already a huge step in the right direction. Yes. Didn't Charlotte publish an article on the Liyue tea industry recently? Maybe he was inspired to come buy some tea after reading that article. You know, just like you were. My situation is completely different. I'm here because I was asked to accompany you. The tea purchase is simply an added bonus of this location. You Fontanians in your tea drinking. Oh, it's not for me. I lost a bet with Ridesley, and now I have to buy him something. Well, um... That should be changed to the British and you see... The British and you see... I'll do like my view. I don't know. It was just a spur of the moment sort of bet. Ridesley gets really invested in that sort of thing, but he couldn't care less about what he wins in the end. You could give him mint plants that you plucked from the side of the road, and he wouldn't even mind. Uh, if only he was that easy going when it came to talking business. <laughs> <laughs> in any well. case, I'm pretty sure the tea you bought is this region's specialty. What is it called again? Ah, uh, Nervalette even mentioned it earlier. Yes, yes, that's the one. You didn't 
really buy ten boxes, did you? <laughs> Please. Do I look like someone who would fall for that sort of marketing trap? Yes. Ah, yes, you do. That did. reminds me. You guys said you only came up here because you heard my voice, right? I hope it didn't put you out. You must have had other plans for the day. Oh, that's right. Who tell? A few days back. ago, we heard that a friend was going to be in Chaoying Village. So we decided to come and see if we could run into her. Oh, dear. We've been chatting for quite some time. I'm sorry for keeping you. Okay, well, I'm done, partner. Oh. <laughs> That's good. Friend. <laughs> we should probably head out and look for Hu Tao. Yeah, we probably should. No need to stay on our account. We just got up here, so we're gonna stay around for a little longer. Hmm. Go and meet your friend. We can meet up in Chaoying Village later. Sounds good. We're gonna head down the mountain then. See you later! Hello. No, 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 not to the people watching, just the dead people. Um... Got him! Oh, Brutal, Farina, and Zhongling. Nice to see all of them here. Chaiyang Village is known for its tea, but you know what else they have with tea? That's right, dim sum! Didn't Gaming say something about dim sum being eaten in the morning? Oh, Paimon wonders if we can still get some at this time of day. Oh, well that's fine too. Paimon doesn't care what kind of tea it is as long as it comes with some tasty snacks. Now, let's see what kind of yummy things we can find around here. Uh... Paimon's not seeing things, is she? Is that Farino standing between Zhongli and Hu Tao? Wonder what they're talking about. Just walk up to them. Zhongli knows a lot of stuff. Maybe he's telling Farina oh. about Chaoying Village. I had a dog. Oh, or maybe Hu Tao is trying to rope Farina into being one of her clients. Hey, this isn't the Fortress of Meropede. <laughs> But Paimon could be convinced for the right price. Let's say loser buys the winner three huge bowls of seafood kanji. Since Zhang Li is there, Paimon bets things are pretty tame. It's decided that Paimon votes for tour guide Zhang Li. All right, no time to waste. Let's go see who's right. None of them. None of them will be right. <clears throat> Shouting too. Oh, well, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? Thank Seems you. like our luck just keeps on growing. Yep. Who tell? Little too smart for her own. Wait. Li Wei's Longshan funeral parlor is very old name. In the funerary business and in and its directorship is now is is now up to its 77th generation, with the current director being a young lady, a young lady named Hu Tao. This young director is known for her sharp intellect, but in some people's eyes, Hu Tao might be a little too smart for her own good. Indeed, the quirky and energetic Hu Tao is not what people expect from a solid title like that, Wang Xun's funeral parlor's director. However, Hu Tao has a unique outlook on life in one. And though she is surrounded by them, every day the Austin optimistic outlook has never changed. Quite an odd duck, this one. That we were able to meet you both without I'm prior arrangement must mean that this is quite the serendipitous meeting indeed. This is different. This is different. He's wearing something different. Uh -huh. Oh, so both of you are acquainted with the Traveler and Paimon, then? Is she wearing something different? I'm not sure. Um, looks like someone's learned a thing or two from Zhongli. 
Yes, we um, have. I must admit, I am a bit surprised to see you here, traveler. But Hello. seeing as you're a hero who's been all over to that, it makes sense that you would be well traveled and well connected. Yes. Since we have found ourselves in each other's company within this fertile land, allow me to take this opportunity to wish you a happy lantern rite. It appears you have been to Fontaine then. Yeah. Yes, yes, I have actually. Given your proclivity to spread good deeds wherever you go, it's no surprise that you would make the acquaintance of a celebrity as illustrious and celebrated as Miss Farina. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's quite high praise. Yeah, what I mean to like say is, different. you flatter me, Mr. Zhongli. Mm. Although I've built up a certain following within Fontaine, it is no reflection of strength or wisdom. I stand before you right now as nothing more than an ordinary traveler in search of beautiful scenery and creative inspiration. There is definitely more to Mr. Zhongli than meets the eye. I could tell as much from our conversation earlier. He is, I think, plus 10,000 years old. Given his breadth of knowledge on both academic and worldly matters, there's no way he hasn't heard about what happened in Fontaine. Is he just feigning ignorance for my benefit? No, 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 no. I, yeah. You're no common tourist. <laughs> I simply won't have you talk about yourself that way. Oh, does that mean Hu Tao also knows? <laughs> you may not have heard, friends, but. Miss uh, um, Hu Tao. Miss Farina is now one of my esteemed clients. Nah. Ah, uh, we won the bet. We won the bet. Uh, uh, uh. Yep. <laughs> okay, okay, you win. Hmm, guess Paimon will have to break into the hidden stash at the bottom of her shoe. Wait, uh -huh. what? What's this about winning something? Don't tell me. You two were placing bets on us. <laughs> yeah! oh, we just saw you guys standing on the side of the road and couldn't help but take guesses as to what you were talking about. Oh, I see. That means you, my friend, must have guessed that I was trying to promote my business to Miss Farina. That I do, my friend. What was Paimon's guess then? Paimon thought Zhang Li was showing the newbie around. Ah, by newbie, you mean me, right? Correct. If that's the case, then Paimon's guess was also correct. Oh, that's right. Mr. Zhang Li was telling me about some great sightseeing spots in the area. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you see? Paimon was right too! That still means Since you're paying 50 50. You buy Paimon a bowl, and Paimon will also buy you a bowl. You'll buy me the smoothest bowl there is. Uh, as for the third bowl... Since I was the subject of the bet, perhaps it should go to me? You know, as a congratulations for the huge deal I just struck. <laughs> I was just joking. Anyway, I should be the one treating you. The funeral parlor is about to bring in quite the sum, after all. Oh, Paimon almost forgot to ask about the most important question. Did I... something happen recently, Farina? Huh? What do you mean? Uh... well, you know, with you enlisting the services of Wangsheng Funeral Parlor and all. Oh, well, yes. Really? Oh, no. Paimon is so sorry for your loss. Although Paimon may have not known the person, please accept Paimon's deepest... Whoa, 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 it's not like that, Paimon. Huh? But Paimon just thought, since you hired the services of a funeral parlor and all... Hey, it's not that big of a stretch. Really, Paimon? It's not like you don't know me. Do I look like I know anyone who would ask me to coordinate their funeral? Too sure. Miss Hu Tao is simply helping prepare some props for my film. 
Okay. Not too long ago, I read a collection of horror stories from Liyue. The content was spectacular. In fact, uh, <laughs> anyway, that's not the point. Now Why that Fontaine's that? biggest star has returned to the stage, I figured it's about time the industry enjoyed a breath of fresh air. Hey, <laughs> that's pretty good. I'll have to remember that for my ad posters. Oh, Crimon sees. That makes a lot of sense. So, did you come to Liyue just to enlist the services of Wangcheng Funeral Parlor? Well, not exactly. My original plan was to just relax and enjoy the sights. But then I ran into Miss Hu Tao and Mr. Zhang Li, and, well, you know the rest. I suppose it was meant to be. It was a fated meeting indeed. Zhang Li sure loves his lofty turns of phrase. But if you ask me, it's all thanks to that man who stopped to ask for directions. Oh? Who was it? It's someone you know. Wanna take a guess? What? How did you guess that on your first try? Very impressive, my friend. Your guessing game is spot on today. Yes, it's obviously. You tell every you tell everyone about your encounter with Navia and I don't know how to say that name. That's just not tr translating for me. I can't. I'm sorry. At the top of the mountain. One look at the pitiful expression on Trina's face is enough to convince you to leave the part out part about sh the shouting. Leave out the part huh. about shouting. I never thought Nervalet would be the type to get lost. I'm sure he didn't get lost. <laughs> Even I was able to find my way to this place without any trouble. He was already getting ready to leave by the time I arrived. He just wanted to ask someone about the quickest way to get back to Fontaine. Yep, the way behind that's me. exactly what he asked. This area is full of mountains and rivers. It's normal to not know the fastest route. For him, though, swimming would be probably the fastest so, rather than all. Were you the one that pointed him in the right direction, Hutel? Of course. I'm also a guide of sorts, you know. So naturally, I also have a great sense of direction. But speaking of your friend, what about him? He doesn't get out much, does he? Ah, no wonder. He was stiff as a board and way too polite. I would have never what? guessed he was here on vacation if you hadn't told me. Way too all polite. All in all, he was only here for half a day. I'm pretty sure he is the only one who would consider that to be a vacation. Oh? This gentleman you speak of must keep a demanding schedule. Mm -hmm. I'm sure he does. You didn't see him, but he was dressed like he was about to attend some important meeting. It wasn't anything like what someone would wear on vacation. Is done. that so? Wait, you didn't see him, Zhongli? Unfortunately, no. At the time, it appeared as if Director Hu and Miss Farina were having quite the productive conversation. I know matters of business can take much discussion, so I decided to fetch some tea for them. What a shame. That gentleman seemed like a sophisticated sort of guy. I actually think you two would have hit it off. Is that so? <laughs> Judging how Zhong Li is acting, and taking into consideration Nivellet's true identity. Could Zhong Li have been avoiding him on purpose? Hmm? <laughs> Oh, I see. It's true with him. <laughs> to borrow Miss Farina's turn of phrase, perhaps it just wasn't meant to be. Well, with the traveler around, I'm sure you'll have a chance to get to know each other at some point. That's right. She's got more friends than she knows what to do with. Well, that's certainly true. Yes, yes it is. Oh, that reminds me. If you get the chance, you should try and talk to Nervalette into loosening up a bit. Just tell him the Palais Marmonia isn't going to fall apart if he disappears for a few days. <laughs> he shouldn't keep himself cooped up all the time. Even clams open their shells to let in fresh water every once in a while, right? 
if he's really that much of a stickler for protocol, he can fill out a leave of absence request. He'd uh, have to approve it himself since he handles that sort of thing now, but you know what I mean. Uh, <laughs> what's, um, uh, okay. Seems like this gentleman is also in charge of something pretty important. So this for sure. <laughs> I've never heard of a demon that boring before. <laughs> Seriously. In my experience, a leader needs to be able to roll with the punches. That also includes knowing when and what to prioritize. It seems like your friend still has a lot of growing to do. If yep. I remember correctly, he's already several thousands of years old. Um, uh, you're quite right, Miss Hutao. Oh. They're in the back, they're in the back, they're in the back. Do you see them, Nivolet and the Traveler, other killer? Miss Farina, those two individuals over there appear to recognize you. Them just staring. Oh, it's Navia and Cloran. Cloran, okay. I saw you all chatting over here, and we're wondering if we could join in. <clears throat> um, please, excuse the interruption. Oh, <laughs> so polite. No apologies necessary. Any friend of the Traveler and Miss Farina is a friend of mine. Ah, <laughs> straight to the point. I like it. Everyone circles around you and begins to introduce themselves. Why circles around my character? Three towers lies laid out when she hears about her place at the point of fashion. But quickly, but a quick explanation from Farina and Navio seems to dispel some of her more misjudged ideas. Hmm, it's getting late. Certainly if we is. want to catch a boat back before dark, we should probably get going. Indeed. Then. Miss Farina. Oh, uh, uh, yes? When are you planning to head back? Do you need us to escort you? Oh, um, I, I don't think that will be necessary. I mean, you're not my subordinate anymore. You don't need to look after me. Um, I didn't mean it that way. It's normal for friends to travel home together if they run into each other on the road. Mm, there are a lot of mountainous roads in this area. I imagine they'll be even harder to navigate after dark. Exactly! Just like in those ghost stories. Eight paths converge in a wood. Beside them an old house is stood. If you dare to go inside, not a soul will greet your eye. But if you take a closer look, there may be something <laughs> you mistook. A candle flickers to and fro, yet there is no wind to make it so. What is its secret? What could it mean? In this wood, where mystery screams. Ooh. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> Oh, but I'm using this to my brain. Oh my gosh. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Gotta say, Farina, you are really quite the character. By the way, mm -hmm. did I hear you mention that Clorand used to work under you? Then you must have also been a leader at some point. Uh, well, that's, uh, all in the past now. Besides... 
being a leader is hard. It wasn't the right job for me. I prefer how things are now. I can come and go as I please and get to enjoy the sweet taste of freedom. I see. Well, you've certainly picked an apt place to relax. Chaoying Village is an exemplary choice. Well, have you all had a good time? Only the best. <laughs> and I've learned a lot, too. Thank you so much, Miss Hu Tao and Mr. Zhongli. It's fine. You've thanked us more than enough already. The next time you're in this neck of the woods, I'll treat you to some dim sum in the city. Dim sum? Is that some kind of liyue term no. for snacks or desserts? No. They are a part of it. It's basically a table full of as much tea, sweets, and good company as you can manage. Oh, so it's basically a tea party. <laughs> Sounds great. Make sure to order the winter melon cake and the lotus flower crisp. They're so sweet and delicious, Paimon knows you'll love them. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I'll be looking forward to it then. Wait, but didn't you guys say you were here on vacation? How come you're all going home empty-handed? Of course I am. I bought tons of fun things to bring home with me. Uh, like what? A kite, a parasol, a little tin frog that jumps. Oh, and a stuffed toy of a mythical beast. Which one? Clorand is the one who didn't buy anything for herself. So, all you're bringing back with you is that tea? And some tea flavored hard candies. They're for Sijuin. Clorand isn't much of a shopaholic. I can well, see that. one of us has to practice restraint. <laughs> hey, I'm hardly reckless with my Mora. I'll have you know, all the purchases I made today were well within my budget. Me? Oh, well, I bought some tea, of course. I just had to try all the varieties recommended in the Steambird. Other than that, just some bits and bobs, you know. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Did you buy a house? They should all be things I can use, I think. Now Paimon's even more confused. If you bought that much stuff, where did it all go? Into one of Linny's magic packets? Oh, <laughs> actually... Monsieur Neuvillette took them with him. Of oh, course so he that's did. What happened. Wait, what? Why did he take them? Oh, he's not hoarding treasure, is he? <laughs> oh, that's quite the imagination you've I can got there, so Paimon. imagine Nivellet just carrying a giant thing of everything. Monsieur Nivellet just saw the amount of bags we had and offered to take them back for us. So, I felt so. a bit bad at first, but uh, I really did have a lot of stuff. <laughs> and Farina probably had more. He even offered to deliver my gifts to the Fortress of Meripede for me once he's done with the day's work. Nivellet is a man of his word. If he says he can do something, then he means it. See, mm -hmm. even Clorand was happy to take him up on his offer. If even his trusty subordinate agreed, then who was I to refuse? Wow, he seems like a real gentleman. Maybe he's not as uptight as I thought. If only the funeral parlor had an employee as thoughtful, proactive, and responsible as him. Right, Zhongli? <laughs> Indeed. Clarence said Novelet offered to deliver her gifts to Risley. So if we go to the entrance of the Fortress of Meripede, maybe we'll run into Novelet! Walking there. So he would have gone like around. Like, where would he go after this point here? Um. I actually shall discover this one, this one, and then figure out what the heck's going with over here. Um. Because I know where to find him, but I'm trying to figure out how he crossed everything. He obviously swam in Fontaine, but there's like a drop off point before, like, when you reach Fontaine. I wonder what's under Fontaine. Because there's so much, like, empty possible space. <laughs> We don't know exactly when he'll show up. Um, very true. We need to get this checkpoint though. Yeah. Wait up. 
I want to kill one of them goats. But I just um, am unable to do my power. Oh, power I mean. Done it totally would have done. Wait a minute. Yes. Did you literally just go into the water and win? Okay. The problem is that there is no fun. There's nothing where he could have gone. Where could he have gone to? Oh, seriously. But how could he have gotten back? There is, there's that, that's the nearest one. There's no boat, there's no nothing. I see none of sorts. Ooh. So much moist. Fascinating. Like, how did he get back? Wait. Seriously, does the talk there's something under there? Seriously, guys. Well, oh well. Um, I don't think I've ever been there. No, no. Um. Oh, 
Moving it. Welcome back. Oh, it's you. It has been some time since our last meeting. I've never met you in my life before. Hold up, I'll read it in just a second. And I'll pick up, pick up. Mama, can you get me a cold or two cold drinks of water, please? Okay, please do. Thank you. <clears throat> the Ladex of Fontaine, renowned for his unsustainable imperative to become the symbol of absolute justice, he has always maintained a gentle and polite attitude. Says the manner. A gentle and polite attitude means feeling an appropriate distance from others while also having a strong sense of empathy. Though he considers himself an outsider, having spent several hundred years in the opera house, as a witness of great drama of humanity, perhaps he has long since become a member of the human audience. Few people frequent this location. <clears throat> since I was able to conclude my work early for the day, I thought I might take a walk and avail myself of this area's peace and quiet. Yeah, as I said, I've never met you in my life. You call this early? Strictly speaking, that depends on the agenda for the day. I am hardly bereft of time, however, so working late is of little consequence to me. You need really? some sleep. If you have so much time on your hands, then why did you only go to Chow Ying Village for half a day? Hmm? First, I should clarify that I was referring to my lifespan, rather than the time at my disposal on any given day. Second, I was unaware you possessed knowledge of my trip to Chow Ying Village. Mm. I see. Thank you for informing me. Yes, they have been safely delivered. <laughs> I have to hand it to Clorant. Why, it's Hello. Just a simple gift delivery, and she has the great and mighty Udex at her beck and call. <laughs> I was just passing through. It was merely an act of convenience. All right. Then I hereby confirm receipt of the goods on behalf of the staff of the Fortress of Meripede. Yeah. A verbal receipt of confirmation? Is such a formality really necessary for a small matter such as this? Guess not. This quantity of tea, though, Seems a little excessive for a gift, don't you mm -hmm. think? Before you know it, they'll start accusing me of taking bribes. Uh, uh, about how that. much tea was given? Is much it of that is my own excess, I'm afraid. What? Oh? What? <laughs> Why? What happened? It was buy ten boxes, get half off. What? I thought this guy couldn't be... What? Excuse me? Whoa. Damn. Ah, that explains it then. What? Well, go ahead and leave them to me. I'll get through this stash as fast as I can. Uh -huh. You have my thanks. Oh, there's something else I'd like to give to you. This is... A stone slate, engraved with a symbolic design. <laughs> well, what? that is an apt description. It is, in actuality, a legal codex. What? A legal codex, huh? 
Hmm. Before the advent of modern writing utensils, information was recorded on stone slabs such as this. The law was no different. Oh... okay. Since ancient times, the scales of justice have symbolized the fairness and impartiality of judiciousness. As a tribute to that sentiment, this slate was designed after a traditional legal codex, and engraved with a symbol instead of text. Ooh. During my travels recently, I chanced upon a roadside stall offering tourists the opportunity to try their hand at the ceramic arts. So I decided to have a go. We joked with Cloran some time ago about gifting you a legal codex. So, here you go. Ah, so that's what this is about. I did not expect <laughs> you to remember it as well. In any case, I hope this can be considered as a reasonable attempt to join in on the banter. Bruh. Okay. It is a very good attempt. Okay. <laughs> I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Even your sense of humor centers around the law. That's an impressive level of commitment. Well, yes. Well, a gift of this significance deserves to be put on display, and I know just the place. Front and center in the fortress's showroom. Damn. Uh, oh, that's what... Oh, surely there's no need for such a grand gesture. It's going just there, kidding. isn't it? I can't... I don't Aww. have anything like a showroom. Aww. But we do have a storage room. We can put it next to all the mechanical parts Sijuin has collected. Sure. That sounds good to me. So that's what you were doing in Chaoying Village. Indeed. Of course, while I was there, I also took the opportunity to taste the local spring water. Oh. The aftertaste is much purer than what I have delivered to me in Fontaine. It stands to reason that the long-distance transport has a tendency to imbue the water with extraneous emotion. Uh, uh, what? Yeah, I'm gonna just head over to a No, I'd die from that water, never mind. Um, I'm just gonna head over to a random place in the water and I'm like, I'm trying your spring water. Hmm. This tastes a bit better than my spring water. I'll head back now. If you want to experience the true flavor, you simply have to go to the source. Perhaps I should organize some time off to do the same what? elsewhere. <laughs> That's the same way where balance between work and play is for sure. Is sure to keep your troubles then at bay. we are of the same mind. It appears my desire is justified. If you say so, but you know you don't have to justify a vacation, right? You can just take one. After all, you're heartily bereft of time. You can do whatever you want. You're quite right. I suppose I suffer not from a lack of opportunity, but rather a lack of inspiration. Oh, However, is. after reading a few articles about Li Wei's holiday traditions, the idea popped into my head and made itself quite at home. Seeing as I was free of responsibilities for the morning, I decided to depart at once. Refreshing. My spontaneous outing seemed to inspire quite a few other spontaneous decisions as well. Take, for example, my foray into ceramics. At first, soil from the ground is granular and unforgiving, but add the right amount of water, and it becomes soft, moldable, and able to take shape. In the past, I never thought about how quotidian vessels were crafted, but now I have participated in their very making. Yeah, this okay. is also something I made today. Ooh, actually... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Isn't that you? Wait, 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 wait. What a big laddie! That's a ladle? A lady. I thought that it was supposed to be some long-necked sea creature. Well, it is. It was indeed one of my inspirations. Really? You like it? To tell you the truth, given your unexpected arrival, I find myself quite unequipped to give you the welcome you deserve. Around such an important mm -hmm. holiday such as this, human custom would dictate that gifts should be in order. But I'm afraid this is all I can offer. If you'll have it, that is. Mm -hmm.
That is precisely why it would do me such a great honor if you accepted. You are most welcome. Happy Lantern Rite. Pass along the advice for Nuvalet's vacation. Mm -hmm. Approve a leave of absence request for myself. <laughs> that <laughs> sounds eyes. like it could easily oh, lead to a vicious cycle of self-indulgence. Something which couldn't be in further violation of protocol. Sorry, I'm just amazed by the eyes. Sorry. But I suppose I understand her point. My proclivity to refrain from personal outings does, in part, originate from a sense of responsibility toward my duties. But it is also due to a lack of desire to engage in the human world. But now I see that the human world is indeed full of many interesting places to discover. I could have told you that. What a different type of object to have. That these are big things, and um, this is like a tiny thing. Lantern Rite marks the start of the new year in Liyue. In the spirit of the season, then. I wish you a year of success as vast and endless as the open ocean. Thank you. Go to the tea making workshop. Ooh. Wait, no, 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 I can't. Because look at this. A. There's a mission, a leeway mission. Yes. Oh no, that is the mission. Wait, wait no. Nah. Have I completed? I've completed everything. Yeah, I need to. I need to complete a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Right after the mission. Yes. We shall do a ten wish here. Let's hope. Come on, let me see a gold. Okay, give me coming then. Give me coming. Okay. Debate club. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, next one should be it. No, next one. Ah, more Noel. One day you'll run out of me being able to do it. Can you two more times, and I don't even need to say it, and it'll be done. Uh, you okay, my guy? No, 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 Oh, it's down here. Can I break him? I can't wait. There must be something to break him for, like, reason why I can. Reasons are oh wait. Well, it looks like doing random stuff can get you random stuff. Who would have known? Who would have known doing random things can get you a random thing? Um, 
I'm... No, 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 no. Ah, uh, okay. A little bit janky, but it works. I want to, uh... I want to go to the top. I'm not jumping because I know I won't be able to make it. Through stamina, basically halfway up. Oh, imagine what's up there. have the food to brief stamina. Oh! Oh! No way! Oh wait, that's, that's, on, that's the only thing up here? Look careful that. Well, I'm not going to be climbing this thing again, especially with that risk. I'm going to get the reward. Waiting. I can make it, definitely. What in the hell is that? Bruh. Main character charging up for an attack. Killing a character. That would just be too despicable. Way, 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 way too despicable. Oh yes, we did do this yesterday. We got that giant thing. It seems to be 
something. That's because it's not finished. Hey, Pyman! And hey! Um, people Pyman doesn't know? Beto and... Given the Someone enormous I don't scale know. of the Jade Chamber, we split the construction work into two phases to make sure the structure remains balanced. Before we find some suitable plostrite, we build the Jade Chamber's keel at ground level. Once the plostrite is ready, we place it into the keel and let the partially constructed Jade Chamber rise up to the height of the surrounding mountain peaks. The remainder of the construction work is then carried out at that altitude. Once everything is ready, we release the iron tethers and allow the Jade Chamber to rise to its target altitude. Miss Bywin, we've brought some new materials to submit. One moment, I'll be right there. The construction work has only been able to progress this rapidly thanks to the plostrite provided by you. Lady Ning Wong is most grateful and looks forward to seeing more of your work. Wow, can't believe you sourced the plostrite so quickly. It's the key Later. piece of the puzzle. Looks like you beat us to the punch. Yes. Wait, I know you. You're the one who fought against the Batuian Osile, right? Oh, sure enough, your reputation precedes you. Thank Pleased you, to meet you. I'm Beto, Captain of the Crux. Beto? Are you here to join the Jade Chamber Contest too? <laughs> sure am. I happened to get my hands on a chunk of Sunset Vermilionite on a voyage a while back, so I figured I'd bring it over. Huh. So even though it's rare, we're not the only ones who managed to get a hold of it. Oh, I've got some introductions to do. This is the renowned Miss Yun, or Yun Jin, probably oh, yeah. the most famous figure in the Liyue opera scene. Greetings. Never heard These anything about you. These two are Paimon and the Traveler. I'm sure you've heard of them before. And this is... Uh, sorry, I'm not sure we've met. Shenhe. I am their... friend. <laughs> Good to meet you. Well, from today on, I guess all of us are friends. Miss Yun is also here for the contest. Turns out she needed to borrow a boat, so we came together. It's an honor to finally meet you both. I've heard much about you. Miss Shenhe, though we are only meeting for the first time, I have a feeling that we will get along very well indeed. To be honest with you all, I am in great need of this opportunity to ask Lady Ningguang a question. That's why I joined the contest. Thanks to my father's connections, I was able to acquire a specimen of the plostrite required. Fortunately, it was approved for submission, despite being a little on the diminutive side. Wow. So it looks like the three of us are competitors now. I think we're winning. Excuse me for prying, Miss Shenhe, but are you competing as well? No, I don't have any questions for Ning Wong. I just wanted to help her win. In that case, I have a proposal to make. Lady Ningguang said that the first three contestants to procure all three materials will be awarded the chance to ask a question. Well, there are three teams here. We can split the prize between us. Instead of competing against each other, we could work together to secure the top three places between us. What do you think? Sounds great, but how does that change things exactly? <laughs> <laughs> I think I see where you're going with this, Miss Yoon. The plostrite was the most difficult item to source by a long shot. Luckily, all three of us managed to get our hands on it. The two remaining items aren't quite so rare, so as long as one of us finds a way to source it, the other two can hop on the bandwagon. How'd I do? Is that what you had in mind? Precisely. Huh. Interesting approach. Okay then. All right, I'll go first. I have some leads on these wonder cores. From what I've heard, the core itself is really not that difficult to make. The hard part is getting hold of the ore used as raw materials. I'm gonna head back to the ship and ask Su Ling if he's heard of them. You guys... We will head into town and seek advice from Master Zhang of Hanfeng's Ironmongers. Thoughts? Wonderful. We'll split into teams then, and whoever makes progress first brings all of us a step closer to victory. I'm gonna take off. See you later. Oh. Okay, let's go! By the way, what question are you gonna ask Ningguang Yunjin? I'm looking for a venue to host the performance of our new opera. Lady Ningguang has excellent judgment, so I would like to hear her opinion. 
What's the opera called? Paimon wants to go see it. The opera is a labor of love by my father. He wrote it based on a popular urban legend about an evil spirit and an adeptus. Ooh. It's called The Divine Damsel of Devastation. Hmm. I think I've heard of it. Have I? Might have. <gasps> Not sure. Alright, this is 200 meters away. Skyward! I shouldn't be laughing about that. <laughs> oh, I found another one. Why is tofu is needed later on? Oh, that is very good, very, yeah. very, very good. Ah! Wait just a moment. I don't get it. Is something wrong, Shanha? Tell me, perhaps I can help. The color black doesn't get dirty easily, so I thought this outfit would be acceptable to wear to work. But Xiong Ling told me it was inappropriate. But inappropriate? How? She probably just meant the outfit isn't suitable for that particular environment and occasion. But for a festival gathering with friends, a nighttime stroll, or an important banquet, your outfit is more than appropriate, Shenha. So you're saying it's only something I should wear in front of important people? <sighs> I suppose that's another way to think of it. Okay. Yeah. Skyward. Scatter. Hmm. Ah, hello. Are you here for something off the shelf, or do you need something forged? Excuse me, Master Zhang. We were wondering if you'd heard of something called a Wonder Core. Of course I have. Sorry, um, who's asking? My name is Yunjin. Perhaps you don't know me, but I believe that you forged some weaponry for my father in the past for stage use. Yunjin? Stage use? Oh, so <clears throat> you must be Miss Yun. <clears throat> Sorry, my brain's finally caught up. <sighs> It's not used to doing much beyond bashing a hammer all day. <laughs> Everyone's heard of you, Miss Yoon. Even folks who don't make it to the opera all that often. <laughs> like myself. Yes, I only see you blacksmiths hitting one sword for hours. I pass by and I'm like, that guy's still bashing the one sword. How much dense is in the sword? So, you're here to ask about wonder cores, huh? As it happens, I do know how to make them. Matter of fact, I made some for Lady Ningguang back when she was building the original Jade Chamber. The types of ore needed to make Wonder Cores are a little hard to come by. Lady Ningguang supplied them herself last time. I don't suppose you've brought any yourselves? No, we were gonna ask you what kinds of ore we need. <laughs> sure. Well, you'll need two kinds. Star Splinter Iron and Subrosium. If I remember correctly, Lady Ningguang sourced her Star Splinter Iron from the Mount Tianhung area. They say it resonates with visions. It could take some work, but if you stick with it, you'll find some eventually. As for the Subrosium, though, hmm, that's trickier. It's all but unheard of on the market. Uh, I'm really not sure. Sorry. What I've heard is that the people around Mount Tianhung have some sort of magic trick that can pinpoint the location of the stuff. Of course, it's probably just hearsay. If you want my advice, start by looking for Star Splinter Iron around Mount Tianhung. And if you run into any locals, ask them a few questions about Subrosium. Mount Tianhung. Interestingly enough, the story of the Divine Damsel of Devastation also takes place on that mountain. 
I hear the view there is quite spectacular. A favorite destination of the Adepti, in fact. Perhaps it can give me some inspiration. Let's not delay. We should head straight there. Yeah. This is what I'm thinking it is, right? Oh, never mind, it doesn't. Probably have a sun. Oh well. Finding it throughout my travels. I came to Mount Tianung once with my father as a child. I remember it being such a long climb that I could barely feel my legs by the time we reached the top. <laughs> this is quite a trip down memory lane for me. Look at these majestic towering peaks and the gently flowing streams. It's like setting foot in paradise. No wonder the legend of the Divine Damsel of Devastation is said to have taken place here. Adepti wander oft where mortals seldom stride. Indeed, this looks like a place that one might expect to be frequented by Adepti. The Divine Damsel of Devastation is your upcoming opera, right? And the story takes place in Mount Tianhang. Huh. Seems like you have a real connection with this place. What's the story about, though? It's the story of a girl becoming a hero. Cool! A hero story? They're Paimon's favorite! The legend first arose in this area. It is said that there used to be a prosperous village on the mountain. In that village, there was a loving couple who were completely devoted to one another. One day, a terrifying monster appeared. The wife was out collecting herbs and was captured by the monster. Her husband was so distraught at the news that it broke his spirit and drove him to madness. The vile and vicious monster told the villagers, If you want to live, you must sacrifice a child to me. Whoa. What a nasty piece of work! Ugh. Paimon sure hopes this monster gets put in its place! But Damn. the monster was so terrible and so strong that all within the village were terrified of it. They had no choice but to give in to the monster's demand. Just while they were discussing whose child would be given over to the monster, a little girl suddenly stood up and came forward. No! Don't do it, little girl! Unbeknownst to anybody else, she was concealing an exorcist's blade. She approached the monster's lair, feigning fear and trepidation. That's her. When it's she her. finally it's arrived, her. she courageously drew her sword and entered into a fierce struggle with the monster, from which she eventually emerged as the victor. It's her. This is a story of her. This character here. Her extraordinary I abilities drew the attention of the Adepti, and they took her as one of their own. Yep, 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 became the stuff of legends. But alas, the paths of mortals and Adepti seldom cross, and she would never again re-enter the mortal world. And so, destined to grace the mortal realm for but a brief moment, she vanished like a wisp of smoke into thin air. I really like this story. But I personally think that perhaps the little girl was... not as brave as the opera makes her out to be. I'm not sure she deserves all the praise she is given. Hmm, I've never considered that before. Opera is always an interpretation of the events it purports to portray. A certain degree of deviation from the truth is always inevitable. When my father wrote the script for this play, I suppose his intention was to inspire his audience with the character of the Divine Damsel. Hmm. I think it's a great story. The ideal story. Well, it sure inspired Paimon! Let's go get ourselves some Star Splinter Iron! Yeah! Well, let's show very well. Vision, vision, no, vision. Yeah. Mm, use my vision. Talking about this? 
You don't want to run Elemental sight? I think I have to be Gia. Well, that might be it. Man, I've been looking around myself. on our way here. Master John said we should ask about. the locals for help. Why don't we try there? We shall then. Hey, there really is someone here. Yunjin, looks like you were right. Excuse us, sir. Can we ask you something? <gasps> huh. He didn't seem to catch that. Hello, sir. We were just passing by, and wanted to ask if you happen to know anything about Sabrosium. <sighs> Is he trying to tell us to look for clues in the village? Well, whatever. Guess we're on our own here. Shenhua, Yunjin, let's have a look around! Sorry, you can go ahead without me. I'd like to have a word with this gentleman. If that's okay with you, Uncle Mingjin. It's... It... Shenhe. Shen Hu, you are alive. The rumors were true. So, all these years? I'm sorry, I don't know how to find Sabrosium. But I think you can find some information in the village. This place is deserted now. No one ever comes here. So you can rummage around all you want. Huh? You know this guy, Shen Hu? Uh... Thank you, kind sir. We'll go and take a look around. Don't worry. Father? Mingjun has no ill intention towards Miss Shenhe. She'll be quite safe. Okay. Then let's see what we can find in this village. I came back here once before. A few years ago. Alone. I hid it from Master at the time. It was deserted then, too. Except for a few low-life bandits. Everyone and everything I remembered was long gone. But as people were passing by, they stopped to admire me. They praised me, telling me I gave off the aura of an adeptus. I tried explaining to them that I wasn't an adeptus, 
just an ordinary person who came from this village. When I saw how run down all these houses were, I felt at a loss. It was like I took a look at the world, and on the surface, it looked like a vast realm with so many places I could go. Then I looked a little closer, and there was nowhere for me to go at all. Suddenly, so much time has gone by. Everything has changed. Last time I visited, I felt so upset. But today... I don't know why, but it feels different. It is easy for your mind to run wild when you are alone. But this time, you are with your friends, aren't you? Yes, my... my friends. Hell you... The remains of a god, an abandoned village, Mount Tianhong. A branch. Does this mean that the true story of the Divine Damsel of Devastation happened right here, in this village? The time frame certainly matches, what? so it seems we're in the right area. Let's keep looking around. Right. Perhaps one should invent some form of curio discern. Huh. What's this? Me not reading all of that. So... Shenha is the Divine Damsel? Now that I think about it, she does behave rather like an Adeptus. And she is about the right age. So that's why I've been getting the strangest feeling whenever I chat with her. I should have noticed it earlier. Sorry, but According I ain't reading all text, of that. The Divine Damsel from the Opera was actually the daughter of the loving couple. And she didn't volunteer. She was sacrificed to the monster by her own father. Oh, hell <gasps> no. The truth is even more lamentable than the opera. Now I understand why Shen He said the girl was not as brave as people think. It wasn't her choice to enter that ghastly situation. She was forced into it. Oh, it looks like my father may need to make a few revisions to his beloved opera. Hey, we've again. Let's have a look over there. Mm. I did want to get something else done. Is this here? Come on. Because there was a bunch of things I could do. I should actually make it the end of, the, of that. I have to close that down. So yeah, we'll end our thing on this problem. To the lands and land. Uh, yeah. So with the with the Genshin impact. It shall be a left there. Genshin Impact shall be a left there. Oh. 
get rid of this. Singlet has a distant aroma and a lingering aftertaste, but if we only find some sad snacks to go with it, would be in for a relaxing day indeed. Hmm, what do you know? You would want to know where I learned all of this? Merchant ships from Leeway often come to Lambus Harbour to trade their wares. The great magician himself. I'd like to keep myself up to speed, performing the arts of other nations. My show is something special. Burn. It was. I was right, first try. Unknown to me. No, I don't know the rewards and stuff. Sure. Yeah, nah. I'm sorry, but nah. I... I won't be able to do that. No, I won't do So, not really that much, not really that much to do to it uh, anymore, because I've already closed down Genshin. Well, yeah. see that, the whole background noise of my mouse. So yeah, I'll be leaving this um, episode a little bit early, just for the fact of we can do a lot more in the next episode, and the previous episode was ba this episode was basically taking kind of of um, just uh, the lantern right. So yes, we've got all the lantern right done, other than this this one here. So um, thank you all so much for watching. For the people on Twitch, um, thank you for watching to the end. And I would love to see you all here tomorrow. And sorry I didn't stream for two days. And for the people watching this back on YouTube, on the right here shall be my latest video. On the left here shall be my first video of this series. In the center here shall be my subscribe button. If you like more videos like this one, please consider subscribing and leaving a like. If you want to see more videos like... Um, what did I say that? If you want to get notified from my, all my future uploads, click that notification bell as well. I'll see you all next time.